welcome back to the channel boys and girls i hope you're all doing okay so again we're looking into this e uh, the eve online 2020 industry uh, in high sec a guide basically now i'm not going to go into all what we went in before because i've done it all manufacturing i've covered that to an extent in a video beforehand which uh which will be coming up on the screen now so what we're going to look in, into today is actually buying and researching your Blueprint Original, which is much more, in my opinion, it is always better to get a Blueprint Original over buying Blueprint copies. As some Blueprint copies are good, some are okay, some are just bad. Um, I'll try and bring up and find some that, I can, uh, that, we can, that are bad on the screen uh, shortly. Uh, so again, this is just uh, another part of the uh, series that I'm going to be running on the uh, on, online uh, on YouTube. So in this one, we're going to be looking at uh, blueprint research, um, skills you'll need, facilities, and blueprint copying as well. The, with uh, I mean, you may have not done any of that before. You may not have even heard of any of that before, or you may just be a bit of it looking at this, thinking, "What is this guy on about? What?" What, why does that sound so uh, why is he making that sound so special it's for a new player getting blueprint originals can be a big deal so if you're going to look into getting into industry and manufacturing and that way then while you're doing manufacturing it is also good to get into blueprint research because basically uh, let me see if I can find a BPO of mine that I was using so a couple. I did go into a couple. Uh, a couple of blueprints that um, a couple of items that are selling very well, just because of the time period of Eve that we are in. So I'm going to look. Uh, into, uh, what we're going to look at today is a strip miner blueprint. So you can get these off the off the market. You can buy them. Obviously not in this region because it's uh, sort of like a quiet region. If you go to a trade hub, you can find these blueprint originals on the market there. Just be careful about the price you're paying for it because you you can get these uh, seeded at NPC set stations, uh, which are seeded by the game for a much lower price than you do in trade hubs. People buy hundreds or thousands of them at those at those stations, take them to trade hubs and sell them for a profit because it saves you going that little bit of distance and to go and get them. But you can get these off the market and then you'll get it with the material efficiency zero percent. And time efficiency zero percent. So, it that's that would be your mineral cost to make before you do any research. Yes, you could make those. So, for example, you could make these, and it'll be three point three million isk in in materials. That's the material cost to build, and the item. So you'll be making a loss. Now, you may think, okay, so how can I change that? Well, along the bottom here, you have manufacturing, material efficiency research, time efficiency research, and copying. We'll get into copying in a minute. So to maximize profit on a blueprint, what you want to do is come to this material to, uh, efficiency research tab. So you do not need any input materials to do this, which is a nice little bonus. All you need is some liquid cash. Also, you will need skills. Fortunately, there's a tab to show you what skills you need. And for these, for these basic ones, you don't need any specific skills to do material efficiency research, which is great. Some some blueprints you will need extra materials or extra skills, sorry, to do the research on that blueprint, which if I find one, I'll show it you. But for now, all you need to worry about is the fact that material efficiency research does not need any additional skills. Now, skills you can uh, train to help this or to do more of these jobs at the same time is you want to come to the science section in your skills. Go on to there. And you want to probably want to change that to have prerequisites for, but I've got this on my skills. So you want laboratory operation. Allows basic research facilities to ability to one run one additional research job per level. So I've got that to five and I've got advanced laboratory operation which allows me to do another one. So I can do ten at once, which is pretty handy. Especially when you're mass trying to when you've got enough blueprints and you're trying to get them all maxed out. 
Also, there are a couple other skills in here which may or may not help you. So if you're flying around a region, for example, you want to do scientific networking because that allows you to do to complete and install jobs from when you're not even in that system or in that citadel. You can do them remotely. So that can be a pretty uh, that can be a bit of a help to get that um so you can don't have to go back to that station or citadel if you're living in a citadel. Also, there's a skill here called metallurgy which you need to train science for to train. If you're going to be doing this sort of stuff, I would highly recommend training metallurgy. Uh because Advanced knowledge of mineral, mineral composition, 5% bonus to material efficiency research speed per level. If you don't have any of that trained, these can take quite a while. So if I put that to 10, so to max this out completely is 13 days, 5 hours. Now, uh, that's with skills and implants. I haven't got any implants in, but you can get implants for it, which I'll go over in a minute. Skills reduce that time by 36.3% because I've got metallurgy 5. Uh, which will take you a while to train, by the way. Uh, but it's 100% worth it. So laboratory operation, advanced laboratory operation, science, I've done that to five, metallurgy five, and those are the ones that you want to do f uh, to get all these. So it's basically get the maximum speed in your research. So there's another uh, skill here, which w weirdly enough, I haven't even trained on this one. I must have uh, must have skipped that one by accident. But well, this one is skill at researching more efficient production methods. 5% bonus to blueprint manufacturing time research per level. So again, I'm not, I have never been too interested in time efficiency research because, the, yes, you can speed up how, much, how quickly your products are made. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not too fussed about that because I can do 10 jobs, um, pen, 10 jobs, which again, I'll go into in a minute, 10 jobs per character. And I've got a couple of characters that I run them on. So... Time efficiency is not a massive thing to me, but if you are literally trying to min-max uh, manufacturing, you want to do time efficiency research, which again, which on here, it doesn't, again, doesn't need any skills whatsoever to do, which is good. So with the time efficiency research, again, you can put it up to 10, you'll get 20% there, and then yada, yada, yada. And then you, obviously that skill can increase that even further, uh, which again, research, 5% bonus to blueprint time efficiency research per level perfect so if you get that up to four or five you're going to knock some a, a decent amount of time off well 20 percent, an extra 20 percent if you train it to level five and then when it comes to blueprint copying which is something that i do quite often with my blueprints as you can see my default amount is uh, 80 runs per copy and do five at a time which takes four days um now blueprint copies are very helpful because uh, in multiple ways because uh, it means you can run multiple jobs at the same multiple manufacturing jobs at the same time um, of the same product. So if I wanted to build something, if I wanted to build these, say if I build one of them now, I can't use that blueprint for another 15 minutes. But if you're doing, say, 100 of them, quite easily doable, 100 of them, and you can't use that blueprint for one day, one hour, and 25, 23 minutes. So... You kind of lock in that blueprint away while it's manufacturing. But if you're making copies, for example, here, you can make loads of copies. So if, for example, I see I need to make X amount of uh, strip miners for different areas, you can put multiple job runs on for a different volume. Uh, say if you would do 60 to one area, 50 to another, 100 to another, you can do them and then you can ship them off. Uh, you can haul them yourself or get someone else to or... Uh, again, we're going to die in, another, in, a, in a later video. Uh, so you can move them around and you know how much is for each area. Uh, which again, Blueprint Copies does make that life a little bit easier. Or if you really want to, you can just keep running the Blueprint Copies. And build up a decent amount, a decent number of them. And you can sell them. So as you, uh, we'll go on to finding contracts here. So, we'll, so 300,000, 330,000 ISK for... A 30 run, 10, 20. So about 10, 20 is a maximum research blueprint, which is what you want. You don't want anything lower um, with these sort of items. So 30 runs is 330,000 ISK. So for 600,000 ISK, you can get... Okay, that's, that is not a good price. I mean, they do tend to go up in price from there. But if you put... If you do a 40 or 50 run BPC and you do 10 of them... So let's have a look. So do... I'll do 50 runs... And you want to do 10 of them. 
That will take four days, 23 hours, and cost you 150,000 isk. You can lower that through a skill called Science, which I've got maxed out, so that is the maxed out time. Um, structure also, structures and implants can also benefit that time as well. Now, you can then sell these on for, say, 400,000 isk apiece. So you'll get 4 million for that uh, for that batch, which, again, you've made profit on. You've made quite a, hefty, uh, quite a bit of a profit on or you can use them to build and so on. So copying can be pretty helpful um, in case of if you're not manufacturing, just keep running copies and you can take them off to a trade hub and put them, uh, list them up on contracts like so and you can get something. I mean, even that, one uh, one blueprint of 30 runs, let's see how much profit they're actually. So one blueprint, 30 runs, 9,000 isk that cost him to make and he's asking for 330,000. So a lot of people do just buy copies um, that haven't got the BPOs or don't want to just get BPOs, they just want copies, making a good profit there. So copying is also very, very helpful because, again, as you can see, you can make a profit just on the copies or you can run multiple jobs at the same time. So your material efficiency research, I'd say for smaller modules, I'd get them to 10 straight away. So I've got this to 10, 20, and let's see if I've got any more I can ice harvester I've got that to 10 I haven't done time efficiency research on my bleep on my BPO because I just and, oh no I have that must have been from an old one my bad <laughs> so ice harvester uh, blueprint copies again you put that in view an industry so if I do copy finding contracts so one wow okay oh these are all mine these are the <laughs> these are all mine here 1.5 million for Two, four, six, eighty runs is really cheap, but because no one, these are just for the for the locals that live around here. I put them up for contracts uh, for locals to build. Uh, if you go to Jita or whatever, you're gonna get four million isk for eighty runs. Yeah, so that's uh, that's a good, that's not a best price. But as you can see, you can make more money on the ice harvester strip miner uh, BPs, and the same with same with all of them, all of these. You can make. Or you can make okay money just selling off contracts, uh, selling off the uh, BPCs. For example, 100 runs are there, 975,000. So again, let's have a look at the profit margin there that he's that he's doing. So uh, job runs. So let's make one one blueprint with 100 runs, 20,000 disc. So he's making a 950,000 profit there on that one BP, uh, which is. That's a good profit margin, don't get me wrong. Um, but unless he's doing 10, which takes four days to... Yeah, so exactly. So you can make 10 of those over over a week, which is easy. Or if you really want to get into maximizing uh, blueprint copying, you can buy multiple BPOs of the same thing, research it maximum, and then just pump out copies and have loads of copies uh, throughout the uh, throughout the game, which could be helpful, could be benefit beneficial. So... We've gone over material efficiency research, we've gone over time efficiency research, and we've gone over blueprint copies. Now, we do have, you know what, we're going to do it. We're going to have a look into, uh, we're going to have a look into this. So, the last one that you want to be looking at, uh, if you're going to go down that line of making blueprint copies, is invention here. You can only do this on blueprint copies. You cannot do invention jobs off... Uh, blueprint originals because the blueprint is consumed by the job like manufacturing now invention does require some skills i haven't got quite got these uh, sorted i've got them there but i just haven't done, trained them up high enough so if you want to uh, manufacturing fine um but invention it it's not guaranteed that you will get this item so if i was to go and view in industry so and change that to invention you're going to need something called data cores. You can get these from research um, research agents, which if you, I'll just quickly show you where they are now. So you come up to the top to the agency, you go agents and missions, and you're going to find mission agents, R&D agents. You want to go any level, highest available. For example, any distance, doesn't really matter. You want to try and stick to high sec if you can. Um, and you want to try and find any. So any of these, for example, um, 
I'll always show info because they do each, I think each agent does, yeah, Graviton Physics, so you, he wouldn't be helpful. He might be helpful if you're doing a lot of Kaldari invention. So as you can see, if you're going down down the list here, you want to find what they what they specialize in because this is what their date what data cores they will give you. And so Starship Engineering, Graviton Physics, Mechanical Engineering. So so yeah, so keep showing info until you find oops, until you find one that's helpful to you. So currently none of these. So you keep scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Graviton Physics, is, is it? Is it Graviton Physics? Glante Starship Engineering. So you may want to change that to Faction. Uh, you want to make Glante Federation. Haven't got any available because they don't like me. I did a lot of Keldari stuff. So that's where you get your data cores from, these specific research agents. And if you start, if you work your way up occasionally, you will have to go and do an actual physical mission for them. But most of the time, it is passive uh, research points generation, which I'm going to do a whole video on research agents to show you just exactly how it all works. Um, but that's the gist of it. Or if you don't want to do any of that because one, can't be bothered, two, can't be bothered, and three, still can't be bothered, you can just go to the markets, uh, trade hubs, and buy these where people sell them for... Uh, it's debatable on the, if the price is good. But what you're going to do then is bring those data cores to where you've got your blueprint. And then here is something called a decryptor. Now these decryptors are very, very beneficial indeed. And different decryptors cost different amounts because, as you can see, probability multiplier. Because again, it's not guaranteed you're going to get a skiff blueprint from a Procura blueprint. Currently with my skills and, and um, whatnot, there's a 26.9% chance of probability per run so if i do if i have a 10 run bpc i can do 10 runs and i get 26.9 percent chance of getting a skiff bpc which means i could do 10 runs and not get one i might i probably would get one but i probably would uh, i wouldn't get all of them now if you add these into the, the into the mix so for example hang on so for example i've got a, a bunch of different decryptors here and so again, as you can see, different prices on them. Some are very expensive, um, some are dirt cheap, but that's because of these, the stats. So max run modifier plus seven, material efficiency modifier and time efficiency modifier. Personally, run modifier, uh, and as long as min uh, material efficiency isn't like minus eight, it's normally okay. From uh, It's normally all right in my, in my opinion, but See, something like that would, wouldn't be too bad, and I don't think they're expensive. Um, but that one is a symmetry decryptor. It's probably a good one to get started, but you'd need good skills, like high skills. Because the higher you train these skills, which I'll just bring up again now, the higher you train laser physics, uh, Glente Starship Engineering, mainly Glente Starship Engineering, the higher you train that, the more the probability of that will increase. So as it says, skills and implants. So we got all that three uh, percent. So if I train that to five, that'll be an extra uh, fifteen percent in total, actually. So that's what um, and laser physics as well. You, that'll be an extra fifteen percent. So it'll increase your chances of getting an actual blueprint copy from it. But again, adding decryptors, for example, if I add that in, so if I add that in there, that increases to forty percent chance per run. So each decryptor increases variable amounts of how uh, what the probability is of getting the uh, the actual thing. So this one here is a plus 80%, which is pretty good. Maximum modifier, four, so that's pretty good. Material efficiency, it's gonna cost a little bit more to make it, but you're getting more runs out of it. So attainment decryptor is 10 million. So yeah, because you're getting a lot more runs out of it. So because you've got a high probability modifier and you're getting four runs out of it, it's a bit more expensive because there's a, more, there's a higher chance you're actually gonna get a BPC from it. So that is invention, that is copying, material efficiency, and time efficiency. So again, it is up to you whether you want to buy BPOs or if you just want to buy BPCs to do uh, manufacturing. Personally, I'd always go with BPOs and research them because you can always make copies if you're not ma actually manufacturing anything at that time. In my opinion, BPOs are worth it 100%. And there are costs involved with uh, doing material efficiency, so I'll show you on this one. Material efficiency, so if I want to decrease that to say 10, 
three days, 27,000 this. Because it's not like a big, the, normally the bigger the sh item, so like a ship or battleship or whatever, the more advanced the item is, the longer it will take. So like, if I wanted to do this thorax till one level, because it's already at nine and it's a, and it's a ship, it take 35 days to do that one level from nine to 10. But because Valkyries are classed pretty much a small, cheap item, it doesn't take much. I'm actually going to do that now. So that cost me 27,640 27, esque. And that will be in three days, that will be material efficiency 10. And if we're doing a time efficiency one, where that's maxed out. So if we're doing time efficiency, again, put it to 10, four days, because I haven't got the skills for uh, good skills for it. So that doesn't cost that much. But these blueprints, when you start doing invention and selling the BPCs, because there is a ha there is a big market for T2 uh, blueprints, T2 blueprint copies, which you'd need to take them. I, realistically, you would want to take them to a trade hub and list them. And as production goes through, a lot of these people that build T3, uh, T2 uh, ships and modules and drones and ammo have got their own BP blueprint copies to run and do invention for their own but there are some people that just buy the blueprint copies as well so yeah that is uh, research for your blueprints copying invention oh as i said i'll go into more detail about research agents and stuff like that in another video soon and there will either be research agents specifically and or it'll be something i else yeah there's there's a lot more to cover on these uh, on this industrial uh guide so stay tuned guys if you've got this far thank you very much for watching you're absolutely awesome so until the next one guys look after yourself uh, and take care